Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your source filmmaker tip of the day. Today is tip of the day number six, and in today's tip, I'm going to show you how to resolve a fairly common problem that's been coming up uh, with a lot of folks who are using Source Filmmaker now that it's out in open beta, and that is when you record more than once, when you say record a character twice or record two different characters going through the same time sequence, you suddenly start noticing that a lot of world entities are duplicated. You'll see uh, doubled up uh, meta crates, you'll see doubled up ammo crates and other objects that appear to be being recorded twice, once for each time you've recorded a character, and that can be a little frustrating. So I'm going to show you how to prevent that problem. First I'm going to show you what it looks like when the problem occurs. So I'm going to create a new camera here and I'm uh, going to go and put it right in here actually. And um, if you're familiar with this map inside this little hut right where I'm going to turn off the phone so I don't get any more calls. Uh, right where that red splotch is on the ground is a uh, an ammo crate and a medical crate. And they will appear when we record. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the work camera. Put this back in here. I'm going to switch to the game world. All right, I'm spawned as a scout and that's okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run up there. Stand there and look at the at the ammo crates, and that'll be enough for our purposes here. So I hit record, hit record again. Just wait, you know. I just accept the defaults. I wait for the beeps, and I go running up there. Yay! Right there. All right. So there's an ammo crate, and there is a meta crate. And then I hit escape to stop. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to my camera here, and I'm gonna press play. And as you can see, there is one ammo crate and one medical crate sitting there, and my scout is standing there. Okay, so that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the game world and I'm going to reset. Now you can see, by the way, there is a second one there because I'm in the game world, although I'm not being recorded. And uh, I'm going to show you what happens when I switch classes here. I'm going to have a soldier be here so we can see the difference. Hit F11, hit record. I'm going to just take the defaults again. And then I'm going to go ahead and run forward, following my speedy little scout buddy. I'm going to stand here next to these things. Okay, well, that's nice. And then hit escape to stop. Switching back to the scene camera for camera one. Already we can see the problem. Okay, that's. That's suboptimal, as we say in the software world. So what do I do about it? Well, let me show you. I'm going to stop this because it's crap. Right click, select cleanup. I'm going to say manage takes, and I'm just going to get rid of that take I just did. And as you can see, the extra object disappears. So that's a good thing. But I also had to get rid of that first take. So I'm going to go back to the game using F11. I'm going to walk my soldier's happy little butt down here again, stand next to his scout buddy. And this time I'm going to you now close it and I hit record once more, except this time instead of just hitting the record button, I'm going to look at some of these options here and I'm going to uncheck a few. In this particular case, I'm going to turn off props and miscellaneous entities. This dialog box, when you do your recordings in game, you are going to want to experiment with these options based on the video you're recording and what kinds of issues you are seeing. I cannot give you a comprehensive list of what all of these things affect because I honestly don't yet know. Like a lot of you, I'm learning as I go, as I experiment, so I encourage you to experiment as well. But I do know that unchecking these two box, boxes, I should say, props and miscellaneous entities will take care of what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record, and once more we wait for the beeps. And I follow my silly little scout friend out here. Now at first you think, oh, that's not right, okay, because I can see that there's two there. But I will tell you why that's not a problem. Go ahead and stop the recording. And the reason is because I'm seeing it because I'm in the game world, but the game engine is not recording it in Source Filmmaker. So I will see the extra objects while recording, but when Source Filmmaker has been told not to record it, it displays them to you, but doesn't record them, as you can see here. Let me swap, swap, swatch? Swatch. Okay, I'm going to swap back to this camera. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to move the camera a little bit so we can see that the both guys come out. So there's the scout, 
and there's the soldier. So they both show up, and yet there is only one copy of the uh, medical crate and one copy of the ammo crate. So for what it's worth there, that right there, I'm going to open this dialogue again. Just uncheck the boxes for the entities that you do not want to record twice when you start seeing duplicates. And again, you're going to have to experiment a little bit with which of these are going to work for your particular needs. And I as always, encourage experimentation. Uh, and if you find out some cool options, let me know, because like I said earlier, I'm learning too as I go. So uh, that is your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day, number six. And I do thank you for listening. I'm glad that everybody has been getting so much use out of these, and it is really, really amazing to me to be able to do, to, to be able to do these for you guys. I thank you for subscribing to my channel and doing all the cool things that you guys have been doing. Uh, and so I will look forward to doing your next tip of the day on Monday. I don't do them on the weekends or I don't plan to do them on the weekends. And uh, I thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and enjoy Source Filmmaker.